a beautiful fall day for us. And compared to what temperatures were like all work week, it is going to feel nice and cool, cool enough to maybe wear the jeans today if you're going to be out there maybe doing some pumpkin picking at the patches. Here's what it looks like in Sacramento. We're at 54 degrees. We have blue sky overhead here in downtown. So this is what it looks like down towards Lodi and Galt and Elk Grove. But out towards the east, out towards Rancho Cordova, Folsom, Rockland, El Dorado Hills, and up towards uh, the Roseville area, we are seeing some low clouds and even a little bit of fog. I think that's going to mix out a bit as the morning goes on. Good morning, Stockton. If you're in French Camp in Manteca, it's been a beautiful start to our day. It's nice and cool at 54 degrees. We have mainly sunny skies here, but off to the east, there are some thicker clouds. There's not much wind stirring about. Good morning, Modesto. Temperatures here near Ceres and Turlock, nice and cool in the upper 50s. We have sunshine, but I know you can see off to the south and east, there are some big towering clouds. Winds are up at about nine miles per hour out of the northwest. And good morning in the Delta. Temperatures here settling into the mid 50s to start our Sunday. We have scattered clouds in the distance with a wind up at 11 miles an hour coming in from the coast. And up towards the high country, here's where we have some clouds that are beginning to gather. We're at 40 degrees starting out the day dry. Likely by the end of today, we'll have seen some showers. Not much wind stirring about this morning to speak of. A few things you need to know about today and going into the work week. I think today is going to be the coolest of the next several days. Some clouds will still be in the mix today. Perhaps even a rogue shower wandering down through the valley. But I think the Sierra showers are where we're, they're going to mainly stay. Showers up towards the Sierra. It'll be warming into this week. In fact, temperature should be back in the 80s before you know it. Here's Doppler radar. Yeah, we've got some showers, some thunderstorms down towards Mammoth Lakes and Yosemite. Even a couple of little light showers traveling in from the coast, wrapping around this area of low pressure that's going to finally move off to the east today. So I do think once we get into midday in the afternoon, as these showers rotate in from the coast to our north, they might travel over parts of the Sacramento Valley, especially from downtown northward towards Yuba City and Marysville. And again, we will see scattered showers, maybe even a thunderstorm in the high country. In the foothills, I think we've got a good, slight chance we might see a shower as we go into the afternoon, but nothing like the widespread rain we had yesterday. If you're going to maybe head to Nevada City, Grass Valley, just a slight chance of a shower. Same thing around Apple Hill. Tonight, tomorrow, Tomorrow we start to really clear out and setting the stage for a couple of really nice sunny days ahead of us. 61 in Pollock Pines today, chance of a shower. 52 at the south shore of Lake Tahoe, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s around Placerville and Grass Valley. Temperatures down towards Sonora, 68 degrees. Again, still a slight chance of a shower today. Low to mid 70s in the Delta today with partly cloudy skies. It'll stay in the 60s in San Francisco, also with partly cloudy skies today. Mid 70s in Manteca, 75 today in Tracy. We'll also be in the mid 70s around Woodland and Folsom, 74 in Elk Grove, about 70. Out towards Roseville. Tomorrow, temperatures tick up just a little bit. We start to see a lot of that sunshine coming through. North wind develops Monday night into Tuesday. Look at the temperature jump here. By Tuesday, we're back in the mid 80s. We stay in the mid 80s on Wednesday and even into the 80s later on this week.